Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is Aditya Jankovic from SuperMemo. Welcome to my presentation today. The title of the presentation is How to Skyrocket Your Memory. So what can you expect from today's presentation? Uh, first of all, we will discuss the concept of spaced repetition. You will see how research into long-term memory has been put in practice uh, to uh, help you make your learning more effective. And uh, then we will also discuss uh, some basic um, uh, concepts related to long-term memory. And uh, we will suggest how you can use them in language learning. So, um, but before we actually start, uh, I would like to know uh, where you are from. So uh, let's see if the chat works. Uh, if you could use the chat and, and simply let me know where you are now, um, that would be that would be very nice. Oh, hello. Oh, Germany. Argentina. Wow. Buenos dias. Uruguay. Wow. Okay. Guten Tag. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, dobry den. Hi. Wow. Well, people are coming from all over the world. That's exciting. Okay, great. Uh, so uh, one more question just to warm up. Uh, could you let me know what languages you are learning? Because yeah, I guess you are at Expo Lingua because you like languages, you are learning languages. Greek, wow, Italian. Benissimo, perfecto. <laughs> wow, so many different languages. Is there anyone uh, learning Mandarin maybe? Because I, I'm, I'm learning Mandarin. Oh. Yeah, here it comes, Lara, Mandarin and Spanish. Great. Okay, so uh, I can see that the chat works fine. So uh, let's go uh, to my presentation. Um, let's see if I can, oh, sorry. Um, okay, so uh, let's start from the basics. Um, we all know that with the passing of time, everything that we learn is eventually forgotten. Names, dates, facts, ideas, images um, that we once remember with ease uh, become harder and harder to recall. Well, let's be honest, we all forget. It's a feature of, uh, of human memory, forgetting. Uh, but, um, there is something that we can do about it uh, uh, with a spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is the good news. Uh, we can uh, use it to influence the process of forgetting. So um, I don't know how familiar you are with the concept of spaced repetition. Uh, in my presentation today, um, I will use, uh, I will explain some general concepts behind it, some, some general ideas. If you are a very advanced practitioner of spaced repetition, uh, you will probably know uh, uh, all of it, uh, but still maybe you will uh, find some of the ideas interesting, or maybe you will hear a different approach to spaced repetition. So what is it? Well, the idea of spaced repetition is to set repetitions at specific uh, um, intervals, specific moments in time, uh, to make uh, to um, to allow to minimize the number of those repetitions and also make your learning um, uh, faster. Uh, in other words, space repetition um, uh, involves uh, regulating repetitions. So uh, so as to minimize the time that you spend on lear on learning. Uh, while at the same time uh, maintaining uh, uh, the required, the desired level of retention in your memory and transferring uh, the information that you are learning to your uh, long-term memory. So uh, I mentioned, I use the word intervals. So what do these intervals or periods of time uh, between repetitions depend on? Um, well, first of all, then they depend on your individual uh, pace of learning and remembering because everyone, everybody uh, has their own uh, predispositions. Um, however, 
there are certain rules of long-term memory, memory that make it for, uh, possible for spaced repetition uh, to actually be very effective and universal. Um, just a side note, uh, if, you look, if we look at spaced repetition from the mathematical point of view, we are dealing with a process of optimization. And you will hear this word uh, again today more than once. Um, you might wonder if there are any synonyms of spaced repetition. Well, uh, it's a very well-established term, but it hasn't acquired any stable synonym yet. Um, you might have heard phrases like uh, repetitions with intervals, um, the interval effect, uh, or active recall. Um, in Supermemo, uh, we uh, often use the term intelligent repetitions or um, uh, optimized repetitions. However, well, deep down, uh, we like to think the Supermemo method. Uh, because it's actually thanks to publications by Supermemo and about Supermemo that the concept of sp spaced repetition um, has taken off internationally. And forget, forgive me uh, my bias, uh, I, I may be biased about spaced repetition because I'm from Supermemo, but I will try to make this presentation as universal um, and objective as possible. Okay, so now... Uh, Let's continue. Oh. Um, let's have a look at our ability to recall. Mm. So the knowledge that we can use without um, any problem immediately after learning actually quickly disappears from uh, our mem memory until finally the ability to recall it drops to almost zero. Uh, most of us may recognize this phenomenon, for example, from studying for exams. Uh, well, let's be honest, who of us didn't try to memorize uh, six months of lectures in just one night? But there is also good news. The ability to recall given information will be dropping mercilessly and quickly until the next repetition. After that, all the fun with the forgetting curve will begin anew. But this time, it will take you longer to forget uh, again. So um, I used the phrase um, forgetting curve. So uh, let's have a look now at the forgetting curve and see what it actually is. Uh, on the left, you have a chart where you can observe how the chances of remembering previously memorized information decrease over time. And you can see a curve in the chart. And this is actually our forgetting curve. Um, the curve can take any number of forms depending on two parameters. Uh, one is D and the other is one uh, is T. Uh, D stands for recall probability, and T is the time passed. Um, also, you can see that the um, ability or likelihood of recall is expressed on a scale from zero to 100%. Um, well, typically, um, uh, immediately after learning something new, you will be able to remember it with almost 100% effectiveness. However, with time, this ability will fall. It may fall even to zero. Uh, so uh, there's, again, good news. It will fall unless you uh, refer this uh, memory, uh, for example, uh, in a natural way, by simply using it, or in an artificial way, uh, for example, in a spaced repetition system like Supermemo. So, well, you might wonder, um, isn't it that you simply remember something or you don't? In other words, uh, how can memory, just binary, yeah, you remember or you don't, be expressed as a percentage. So what may be difficult to imagine uh, using a single piece of uh, information 
can be better illustrated with an experiment. Um, an experiment when, uh, where you will use um, a larger amount of similar material. So you can try this experiment uh, yourself. Um, try to memorize 100 totally new words in a foreign language. Uh, just a side note, uh, uh, I propose uh, words because single words, uh, single words work best with space repetition as they, uh, they are ideal atomic uh, little chunks of uh, information to remember. Then you can try to re recall those words after three, seven, uh, and 14 days. And you will see that the longer the time since you first learned them to the time that you tested them, the fewer words you will be able to remember. So for example, let's assume that after three days, uh, you can remember 80 of them, after seven, 40, and after 14 days, you will uh, only remember 20 of them. Uh, if on the day of the test, uh, you can remember 80 words, this means that the chances of recalling any given word of that set is 80 out of 100, meaning 80%. And here is your percentage. Uh, that is why memory can be expressed uh, as a percentage. So um, now, uh, I have a question for you um, because I've been uh, uh, on the previous slide, I've been showing you the forgetting curve. So do you think there is a single forgetting curve, one single forgetting curve for everyone? So uh, could you please um, uh, use the chat again? Of course not, no, no, no question mark, okay. Uh, uh, of course, there isn't. Uh, I could see uh, just uh, one question in the chat. I will uh, refer to it, not to leave you hanging there. Uh, there was a question what uh, SRS is. SRS stands for Spaced Repetition System. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, exactly. There is uh, no a uh, single forgetting curve for everyone. Um, this is because learning is a highly individualized uh, process. Um, effective memorization depends on uh, your, the pre-existing knowledge that you have in your brain, uh, associations and connections that you already have stored in your brain. Um, uh, uh, um, the, Try to imagine this, the more uh, a new piece of, of information that you are trying to learn uh, is, um, uh, fits this image uh, of the world that you have in your brain, the easier it will be to remember. But uh, it also works the other way around. So if you are trying to remember uh, to learn something uh, that is at odds with what you have in your, uh, in your brain, then it will be a lot of struggle to actually memorize it. Um, effective memorization also depends on the amount and type of material that you are trying to learn. Uh, the type, time of day is also important due to your uh, natural uh, circadian rhythms. Um, your brain uh, can acquire and solidify a new information most effectively when it's fresh and rested, uh, rather than uh, when you feel uh, very tired and your body is sending you signals that you uh, should uh, relax. Um, that is why learning a new language to begin with um, can be pretty difficult. But once you get over the barrier of learning the basic structures, it should get more and more pleasurable. So uh, your intuition was, uh, was correct. There isn't a single forgetting curve for everyone, 
but still it's possible to um, establish a fundamental mathematical form of the forgetting curve. Um, and uh, uh, actually 30 years ago, Dr. Piotr Woźniak, the creator of the super memo method, proved that the process of forgetting follows a curve which can be expressed using a negative exponential function. Now, this sounds pretty funky, uh, but uh, uh, actually the forgetting curve is the same curve that you've seen uh, several slides before. So you already know what, what shape we are talking about. Uh, so now I have another question for you and uh, you can um, use the chat again. So do you know what natural phenomenon is also described using a negative exponential function? I'm uh, waiting for your answers. Yeah, that's great. Somebody's already given an answer. A radiation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh, so, um, uh, <laughs> apply. Okay, uh, so actually, yes, an exponential function uh, is used to describe a certain natural phenomenon, um, uh, for example, the process of radioactive decay. Um, I find it really extraordinary that our memories or, or memory traces disappear over time uh, similarly uh, to the spontaneous decay of radioactive particles. Uh, so, okay, uh, I will say it once again, there isn't a single forgetting curve for everyone, uh, like a magical uh, forgetting curve, but still it's possible to estimate uh, a forgetting curve uh, for each individual or even for each individual piece of information. To be able to do this, uh, you have to know um, some basic laws that govern uh, the long-term memory that were described, uh, that were defined by the creators of the super memo method in a two-component model of memory. Uh, so let's go to the two-component model of memory. These two components uh, um, describe the condition of any memory trace uh, in your brain at any given time, and they are called retrievability and stability. Uh, retrievability defines the likelihood of recall of any information that you memorized before, whereas stability defines how strong this memory is. Um, so uh, in other words, how permanent this, uh, this trace is in your memory. Uh, the consequence is that um, typically a spaced repetition system observes the history of repetitions of its users, and then based on that is able to predict how well a given um, item, a given word, can be retrieved and propose also the best time to repeat it. <clears throat> okay, so now uh, I would like to show you the uh, eight most important rules of spaced repetition. Uh, they are based on the universal uh, rules uh, for uh, the long-term memory. Uh, and um, mm, they are the following. The first rule says, with each effective repetition, the individual forgetting curve for a piece of information becomes flatter. With each effective repetition, uh, uh, sorry, rule number two, <laughs> I will uh, number them for you. With each effective repetition, a piece of information becomes more stable in the memory. Rule number three, the more stable the information, the longer the gap to the next repetition can be. Rule number four, forgetting information during a repetition means that the learning and stabilizing process begins anew. Rule number five, the longer the gap between successful repetitions for a piece of information, the more stable in memory it becomes. Rule number six, 
the more difficult the information, the steeper its forgetting curve is. Rule number seven, the longer the gap to the next repetition, the smaller the chance of being effectively recalled. And rule number eight, the two most important parameters defining the condition of a piece of information in the memory are retrievability and stability. And with these eight uh, most important rules, you actually have a, a, like a magical recipe for spaced repetition. Uh, well, actually so far, um, the best and most frequently cited um, illustration of spaced repetition appeared in an article about uh, Piotr Woźniak and Supermemo in an article that was published um, in the magazine Wired uh, in 2008. And you can see um, this illustration, this chart on the left here. Um, so uh, you will recognize on the chart, you will recognize the forgetting curves that we've already been discussing. Um, so uh, when, when you first learn something new, uh, that's the point in time here on the left of the chart. So when you first learn something new, uh, uh, your, um, the ability of recall uh, will be uh, uh, almost 100% uh, 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 right after you learn it. Uh, however, it will fly from your memory quite quickly um, uh, and within a short time after you finish learning. Uh, however, with each uh, successful repetition, and those repetitions are marked here uh, on the chart, with each successful repetition, uh, the chance of remembering information uh, over time increases. Uh, that is why those forgetting curves begin to change their shape and become flatter and flatter. Uh, the forgetting curve for a piece of information becomes flatter, enabling intervals to get longer. As you can see, those periods of time between uh, those repetitions, those successful repetitions, become longer and longer. Um, uh, you must uh, also remember that with each unsuccessful repetition, the process uh, starts from scratch. That is why it is so important to start with short intervals and gradually increase them. Uh, the later the time of the repetition is set, the better the material will be memorized. But there is a catch. So uh, you must uh, not completely forget what you are learning by then. Mm. That is why well, the this, uh, idea of spaced repetition is to set repetitions um, at a later moment, but one in which the information is still highly likely to be remembered. It, uh, in super memo, the optimized uh, moment for repetition is set at 90%. And you can also see it here on the chart. This is the line 90%. Uh, this means um, that um, the repetition occurs uh, in a moment in time when the chances of remembering this information have fallen from 100 to 90%. In practice, this means that if you use a spaced repetition system regularly and at the required times, out of, for example, uh, out of 100 items, you should be able to remember around 90 of them. Okay, so we've seen the, the chart from, um, from the Wired magazine. Uh, and uh, there are certain things that the chart uh, actually doesn't show. Uh, and uh, they are the, um, uh, they stand for the very interesting effect of rule four and five. Uh, so uh, rule four says uh, that every time you forget, uh, the learning process has to start again from zero. 
but this is actually an oversimplification uh, because uh, two pieces of information are never equally easy or difficult um, to, uh, to memorize because they, uh, you have different associations um, with them in your brain. So for example, if you uh, forget um, uh, your um, uh, friend's phone number that you used to dial uh, manually many, uh, many years ago, it's uh, not the same uh, as forgetting um, Mandarin character that you only learned yesterday uh, and with which you have uh, no association in your brain. Uh, so um, information that we have forgotten even once is not the same as the information that we have never seen before. Uh, what is important here is that those two um, pieces of information have a very different stability level. Uh, the stability level of your friend's phone number will be much higher than that of the Mandarin character. Uh, as a result, um, uh, when you uh, recall the friend's uh, phone number, it may be uh, enough to recall it only once to be then able to remember it again for years. Whereas with the Mandarin character, uh, whose stability is pretty low in your memory, uh, you will have to go through a laborious process of slowly increasing intervals between repetitions uh, and unfortunately, uh, this uh, character, uh, you, you may forget this character more than once in your learning process. Um, perhaps the most interesting rule that has been left for us to discuss at the end, and it's rule number five. Um, so rule number five says that the longer the gap between repetitions, the stronger the effect on your memory will be. It's like, uh, so setting those uh, times for repetitions is a little bit like uh, gambling in a casino while constantly betting the house. The longer you play, the more you stand to gain, uh, except that if you don't quit in time, you stand to lose everything. Uh, so um, here, uh, the impression may be that the longer the gap uh, before you repeat, the better. But beware of stretching the interval between repetitions to the maximum. Um, it only pays if you can uh, actually recall this information. If it turns out that you don't remember it, uh, the whole pro learning process will have to start again almost from scratch. So now you can imagine an app uh, that tells you everything that we've discussed today and gives you the best moment for you to repeat that knows the history of your repetitions, the history of the repetitions of all its users and puts it all together uh, to create a, a very strong statistical information about the best moment to repeat. Um, and you know uh, uh, already because I mentioned it before uh, that I'm from Supermemo and actually I would like to leave you with a quote uh, to finish off today's presentation. It's a quote from Wired by Gary Wolf about Supermemo. Want to remember everything you will ever, ever learn? Surrender to this algorithm. So, uh, yeah, actually time flies. I think that's the end of my presentation today. So uh, I really hope that you have learned something new. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to uh, reply to them by email. You can drop me a line. You have my email address here. Uh, if you are looking for more information about spaced repetition, you can visit our blog. There is a lot of materials, a lot of articles, um, about the forgetting curve, about Ebbinghaus, about super memo. Uh, so uh, uh, please uh, visit our blog. And uh, if you are still here with me and uh, you've survived till the end, uh, I have a surprise for you. Uh, you can try spaced repetition for a week uh, with a premium code from Supermemo. All you have to do is go to supermemo.com, create an account, 
and activate your code. The code is mm, Explingua21. I hope it's easy to, uh, to remember. <laughs> um, and uh, please note that the code is only valid till Monday, November 15, and it's limited. So first come, first served. Uh, thank you very much uh, for being here with me today. Uh, muchas gracias. Danke. Dziękuję. Auf Wiedersehen.